One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four, five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes, more. Oh, hi everyone! I hope you are fine today. I am Teacher Flora from SK Taman Sungai Besi Indah. What's your name and where are you from? That's great! I'm pleased to meet all of you. Today, we are going to learn about whole numbers up to 1,000. By the end of this lesson, we should be able to say any given number in words, match the numerals with the words, and state the place value of any number. 1,000? How many is that? Can we count up to 1,000 just like the way I was counting the potatoes? <gasps> hmm. Well, maybe yes, but it will take hours by the time we reach 1,000. So how can we count up to 1,000? When you were in year 1, you have learned to count up to 100. Now let's listen to this song and sing along to understand the value of 1,000. Are you ready? Let's start now. One, two, three, four. How many ones will make a ten? How many ones will make a ten? How many ones will make a ten? Let's count them all together. Ten ones make a ten. Ten ones make a ten. Ten ones make a ten. And here is my dance block. How many tens will make a hundred? How many tens will make a hundred? How many tens will make a hundred? Count them all together. Ten tens make a hundred. Ten tens make a hundred. Ten tens make a hundred. Here is my hundreds block. How many hundreds make a thousand? How many hundreds make a thousand? How many hundreds make a thousand? Count them all together. Ten hundreds make a thousand. Ten hundreds make a thousand. Ten hundreds make a thousand. Here is my thousands block. So now, you can see that if we could count up to 1,000, it is just like counting up to 100 10 times. Wow! It could take us forever to count that much. I wouldn't want to count my potatoes up to 1,000. No way! Now, let's count Dean's blocks of hundreds up to 1,000. 1, 100, 2, 100, 3, 100, 4, 100, 5, 100, 6, 100, 7, 100, 8, Hundred, nine, hundred, one thousand. 
This is how 1000 looks like in numerals. And this is how it's written in words. This is the place value for every digit in the number 1000. So now we know the value of 1000, how it looks like in numerals, how it is written in words, and the place value of every digit. Now let's name any other number up to 1000. Look at this number. Let's put the digits in the place value table. Then we name the number in the hundreds place. This is 500. Then let's look at the numbers in the tens and ones place. There are zeros in both places. So what do we call this number? Do we call this 5? 50? No, we call this 500. Why? It's because number 5 is in the hundreds place. Now look at this number. Let's put the digits in the place value table. The number in the hundreds place is 7. So let's start with 700. Then let's look at the numbers in the tens and ones place. We have a 9 in the tens place, but 0 in the ones place. So we name this number 790. What about this number? Let's use the place value again. The number in the hundreds place is 8. So we started with 800. Then let's look at the numbers in the tens and ones place. There's a 0 in the tens place and a 2 in the ones place. So this is 802. Lastly, look at this number. Place each digit in the place value table. 3 is in the hundreds place. So this number starts with 300. There is a 4 in the tens place and a 5 in the ones place, which we name 45. Therefore, this number is 345. Now look at all these numbers in numerals and words. Try to match the numerals with the correct words. Good job! All numbers have sevens in the hundreds place. So, all numbers begin with 700. The first number is 700 because the two following digits are zeros. The second number is 702 because there is a zero in the tens place and a 2 in the 1's place. As for the third one, the digit 2 
is in the tens place, but zero is in the ones place. So this is seven hundred and twenty. Lastly, we have a one in the tens place and a two in the ones place. Therefore, the last number is seven hundred and twelve. So now we have already learned to say any given number in words, match the numerals with the words, and state the place value of any number. Thank you for joining my class. Goodbye. Hope to see you again next time.